Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul. I think this is just going to be a little one, but I'm not really sure. I've got this bin right here. came from my sister-in-law, Marion. I had it put aside because I just can't go through everything at once. And when I kind of get my piles of listings down to a manageable level, I um, take out another one and and check it out and see what's in there. So basically, I don't have much of a clue of what's in here. It could be just about anything. So I hope that you'll join me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do uh, these hauls a lot of times, do flea market hauls or um, textile hauls, jewelry hauls, whatever I happen to have on hand to look at. And, and um, I appreciate your comments and sharing and subscribing and whatever else you got to do. Okay, so with that, I'm going to get started and we're just going to see what is in this box. Okay, let's start with this. This is some kind of textile. Uh, oh dear, it's quite damaged. It looks like it has moth damage. It's like a little wool table mat, but it's got moth damage. That's too bad. I don't know what to do with that. Ah, oh, nothing's here, but you can't see her. <laughs> you want to check out what's in this bag? Oops, 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 oops. Looks like there's some ceramic things in this bag. Okay, we have... A very cute set of salt and pepper shakers. And, ooh, these are marked Japan. Uh, what does it say? Del Coronado Nosco product, Japan. Uh, one has a stopper, one does not. But those are very cute. top of this one is top of this one is chipped and this one maybe lost its top. These are little oil and vinegar pitchers. Same type of pattern. Oh dear, there's a dead spider on the bottom of this one. Mm. Okay. And that's that for that bag. What else we got here? Um, okay, you got me. I do not know what these are. They appear to be covered with some type of animal wool, like, I don't know, alpaca or something. But I have no idea. They have little Maybe they're tiny little yurts. That could be. That could be what they are. It could be yurts. <laughs> and and it looks like maybe you hang them. Um, hmm. Well, that's that's a new one on me. Oops. Okay. These are made in Hong Kong. These are stands for vases. They're carved wood. We've got three different sizes. Maybe the vases will turn up that go with them. I don't know. Okay, there is at least a little bit of jewelry. 
I'm going to put it aside for now. If there's a bunch of jewelry, I'll do that as a separate haul maybe. But I think there's maybe only a few pieces. Okay, this is a lovely ceramic bowl. And it says USA Calif P2. So, it's California pottery. Not uh, sorry, I had to change the camera battery. Um, I was looking at this nice California pottery bowl with this very beautiful glaze on it. That's very beautiful. Oops. Put it. Okay. Um, let's see. What could this be? This appears to be Souvenir of Alaska 12-inch candles. <laughs> they are Alaska totem pole candles. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> I'd say those are probably 1950s, maybe. Legend of the totem pole. There's a whole totem pole legend on the back. Well, that's interesting. You never know what you're going to find in these boxes. Oh, we have a Madonna and Child statuette. It is marked. That's a Hummel? Mm, I don't think so. Might be worth doing some type of image search to see if I can figure out what this is. It's got it's got a mark right there, but it's really indistinct. It could just be a I don't know what that is. Huh. Okay. Well, here she is. Okay, we have a bin, <laughs> a, a cup full of these um, chandelier feelies, uh, dangles, uh, drops, chandelier drops. Um, I imagine there's a market for those. I don't know. And this beautiful thing is hand painted. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Let's see if you can look at that. That is really, really pretty. I love anything that's hand painted. Let's see. The bottom says six six one hail. I don't know, and I can't really show it to you without dumping all the um, all the drops out. But interesting. Okay, we have more of these hand carved stands. Nice. And these things are nice. They really add value to something if you can, um, you know, pair it with a vase or something. Okay. This looks like a tiny little pair of binoculars. Let's see. Yes, it is. Ooh, let's see. Oh, yes, these are very nice. Little tiny bird-watching binoculars. Oh, I might have to appropriate these. I don't know. Uh, they are Bushnell 4 by 30 coated. Nice little case. Hello, Muffin. Uh, look who's here. There she is. She's got to sniff everything. Okay. And we have, oh, there's a bunch more of these um, chandelier drops. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Uh, looks like we have some jewelry. I mean, for heaven's sake, chandelier drops are going everywhere. 
Don't claw the sofa. Okay, we have one more item, which is this muffin. It's a baby. I'm not paying enough attention to her. Um, do I have an earthly clue what this is? No, I do not. It is a tube sealed at the bottom. Oh, now I have a clue what it is. But not really. It's got all these little pointy sticks. Uh, skewers? A, a tube full of skewers. I, I don't know. Oh, gosh. I'll have to figure this out. I may have to call her and ask what it could be. I'm guessing it's, you know, something native made somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, that is everything in the bin, so I am going to go ahead, because this is a pretty short video, and I'm going to show you what's in the jewelry. There is one really nice piece of jewelry in here, so wait for it. Okay, in here we have oh, feather. Okay, so this says from Nana's Beads, Nana being my husband's grandmother. So we have a nice crystal beaded necklace. Nana always had very, very nice things. So if it was Nana's, it was good quality. And we have some silver. I'm guessing these are not real silver. They don't... Huh? Maybe they are. That would be nice. But I don't think so. They don't look like silver. But you never know. I'll have to test them. But hmm, kind of pretty. And we have... Oh, this is nice. Can get it untangled. The multi-strand necklace, of crystal and pearls. Needs a good clean. It's really dirty. Ugh. It's really dirty. But that could be really pretty. Let's see if it has any markings on it. A lot of these were made in West Germany or Japan. One's not marked, but that's quite nice. Cleaned up, that will be lovely. Come here. Oh, we have a, a cameo that's not mounted. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's plastic. <laughs> Nana, you're letting me down. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God, it's like a pressed flower or something. Um. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, no. I think this is broken. Is it? Um, uh, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to look like that. I don't know, this is a rhinestone brooch, but yeah, I think it's broken. Well, that will go in my craft pile. Oh, that's a shame. I see, oh, there's a little part of it. I think it's missing two of these. Okay, so 
see this little triangle bit goes in oops goes in there like that there's two of them missing they only have one I don't think I could glue them back together anyway they're broken oh that's too bad though that would have been a really pretty piece Mm, not marked. Okay, and there's just a lone earring. Okay, we have what looks like a pair of earrings. That are sealed in this plastic thing. Hold on. I'll get it out. Okay. Uh, um, oh dear. This is not good news. Oh, no, it's okay. Never mind. I thought for a minute it was just one earring, but it's Get these entangled. Oh gosh, this is one, like one of these puzzles where you have to get the rings untangled. I never was good at those. Okay, well, what we have here is a pair of earrings. <laughs> I'll have to get them untangled. And I don't know what they're made out of. Maybe they're silver. Maybe they're not. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And finally, the last thing we have, oh, it's two things, are some very beautiful Native American fetish necklaces. This one has a, let me show you the right side, this one has a bird and some, looks like a fox, maybe, or an aardvark. Looks like an aardvark. That looks like an aardvark, doesn't it? And some other little animals. There's a, oh, there's all kinds of little animals. A whale, a hummingbird, with some little heishi beads. That's very nice. And this one looks like it's about the same, other than it has a different different animal it has a, a dolphin or a porpoise. I love these though. I think they look like little aardvarks. Look at that tail. And a little, that's, what is that? That is a bear maybe? But anyway, turquoise and some azure malachite and I don't know what that is. But yeah, nice, very nice. Now those, those are the star finds of this box. Are some nice Zuni fetish necklaces. Okay, I do believe I have it all. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it if you stuck with me to the end. And I'm gonna get all this stuff listed as soon as I can, but if I'm a little bit behind, I still have a few things from the last haul to go. So, if there is something that you're interested in in particular, you can let me know. Best way to do that is via email or Etsy messaging if you're on Etsy. Um, and uh, I can shoot you a price. I can get something listed quickly for you if you like it. Uh, whatever you need. Okay, so we'll see you again soon. Bye!